So I will start with section six of my talk, <laughs> which is this question, can nuclear power solve the climate change problem? And the short answer is no, it cannot. And nobody believes, nobody who is knowledgeable believes that it can. Nobody in the nuclear industry, nobody out of the nuclear industry believes that it can solve the climate change problem. It can make a contribution, but this contribution is of only limited extent. Now, in the last couple of years, in the last three years, let's say, uh, uh, this question has been important, and I have been looking for studies that deal with the question of climate change with regard to nuclear power. And I'm going to show you the results of one such study that appeared in 2007. This is from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. They're, they're the big guys, the guys that uh, won the Nobel Prize. And what they said about nuclear power in their report is that they used 2005 as their base year. And they said that nuclear power at that time accounted for 16% of all the electricity in the world. That's quite a slice. However, um, it's not 16% of all energy use. It's 16% of electricity. If you look at energy, it's only 2.7% of total energy use. That's because electricity is only a slice of the energy pie, and if you take 16% of that slice, you get, a, you get about less than 3% of the total. Yes? IPCC is uh, not to be taken too seriously. Uh, well, he disagrees to talk totally with the results. Yeah. All of these, all of these studies, you know, we're talking about questions which are very, very large questions. And these questions are going to have disagreements, even among scientists. But the gentleman is quite correct in that you should not take any source as being, you know, uh, as if it was uh, infallible. Um, however, I think you have to take sources like this seriously. Okay. And look for other sources. If, if you have better sources, let's see them. But let's see what they say, first of all. What they say, what they say is that, is that uh, in 25 years, from uh, 2005 to 2030, nuclear power could possibly increase from 16% to 18%. That's still only 3% of total energy. Now, you may argue about the number, you may change that number, but you figure out how large that number has to be before you really make a significant difference. My point is, you're not solving the problem, you're making a contribution. And they point out that safety, that's nuclear safety, nuclear weapons proliferation and nuclear waste remain as constraints. These, in other words, are problems associated with the expansion of nuclear power. Now the same report uh, talks about renewable electricity, uh, electricity from renewable sources, and it says that in 2005 already renewable electricity was 18% of the total. That's where nuclear power might be in 25 years. So already renewable electricity, of course, plays a significant role in electricity supply in the world. And without any technological breakthroughs, just using the existing technology, uh, this could increase from to 30 to 35 percent in the same 25-year period. There also are uh, side effects of renewable electricity, but they're generally positive. Uh, you have more energy security, more jobs. Uh, renewable electricity produces a lot more jobs. Now, I'd just like to look at this example for a moment. In Canada, we have 24 nuclear reactors. If all those reactors were running at top capacity, it would only be 15,000 megawatts. Germany has built 30,000 megawatts of wind power in 10 years. You couldn't do that with nuclear. But let's suppose you could. Let's suppose you could build 30,000 megawatts of nuclear in 10 years. During that 10-year period, you would get no electricity at all. It's only when the reactors are finished that you get a benefit from it. And in the meantime, you're actually adding to the greenhouse gases because there's a lot of greenhouse gases given off when you build these things and when you're preparing the fuel. On the other hand, if you look at the wind power that was already built, you get electricity the very first year. And the second year, you get more. And the third year, you get more. And it builds up to 30,000 megawatts. So you get benefit all the way along, increasing to a total of 30,000. 
And this is the kind of this this is the kind of factor which makes a huge difference in terms of how quickly you can impact the global warming question. Now, since 2007, there have been many other studies done on the same question. And I haven't seen any of these studies done by independent people, that is, independent of the nuclear industry, which have suggested anything very positive about the potential for nuclear electricity. For example, last year, there was a study published in Scientific American, uh, our report which said that nuclear power cannot make uh, any significant contribution to global warming for the next 40 years. And the reason for this is that there are going to be a lot of old reactors shutting down, and there will be more reactors shutting down than the new ones being built. They expect that nuclear electricity's contribution will actually be declining for the next 10 or 20 years before it starts coming back up again. Now, if you believe that global warming is a problem, and if you believe that it's connected with the greenhouse gases, then you must also believe that this is way too slow. Now, there's no scenario that is at all realistic which suggests that nuclear power can solve the climate change problem. All it can do is make a contribution. You may argue whether it's larger, smaller, positive, negative, but you can't argue that nuclear power is going to solve the problem. It cannot.